Do you know what's happening in Syria? It's a civil war. The dictator of Syria is a Muslim named Bashar Assad. He's propped up by the Muslim dictatorship of Iran and the Muslim terrorist group called Hezbollah. And those Muslims are fighting against other Muslims, like the Islamic State terrorist group and about a dozen others. Of course, the groups that get it the worst are the religious minorities, Christian Arabs, moderate Kurds, and the prized rape victims of the Islamic State terrorist men called the Yazidis. It's not just people who are murdered. Any history of Christianity is being physically obliterated. Here is one of the oldest Christian monasteries in Iraq, 1,400 years old, destroyed, detonated, wrecked, demolished by the Islamic State to purge Christianity from the region forever. So there's nothing left for Christians to come back to. So that's the reality. Muslim dictators fighting Muslim dictators, Muslim terrorists versus Muslim terrorists. But as always, the worst is the way their Christian victims are treated. But let me show you the lesson plan used in an Edmonton school. Get this. This is a news scoop from the website Blazing Cat for Kefir. He got a copy of a lesson plan used in an Edmonton school. Let me read from it. The government in power in Syria, the so-called Assad regime, named for the current president Assad, is Christian. And the rebels are Muslim. As a result, most of the refugees are Muslims. Whoa. So the tyrant here, the mass murderer of Syria, the one who allegedly uses chemical weapons on his own people, he's a Christian, eh? And he's waging some sort of genocide against Muslims because they're Muslim, maybe some sort of Holocaust, maybe. And they're just rebels. They're not terrorists. The Islamic State, not terrorists. This is being taught in Canadian schools. Now, when a parent complained, the teacher claimed, oh, it was all, all an accident, all, all misunderstanding, and she'd clear it right up. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Seriously, politicians, the media, police, and now teachers, is there anyone in authority who isn't promoting political Islam these days? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.